Hello, in this video we'll be solving some of the exponential equations and the key is to make sure both sides they have the same base. So when we see 8 raised to the power of 2x plus 1, that's equal to 32. We have to focus on the base. Here we have 8. And how can we break down 8? Well, we know 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So we can write the 8 as 2 to the third power and then we just continue. We put this raised to the 2x plus 1 power, and that's equal to, here we have 32. We will also have to break it down. 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 5 of them. So this is the same as 2 to the 5th power. Well, here we have 2 to the 3rd power, and then raised to the 2x plus 1 power. We have to multiply the powers. To do so, well, just do 3 times 2x, and you still have the 2 for the base. 3 times 2x is 6x, and then 3 times 1 is plus 3, like this. And the right-hand side stays the same. This is still equal to 2 to the 5th power. Now, for the both sides, they have the same base, right, 2 and 2. That means the powers, they must be the same, so we must have 6 x plus 3 equals 5 and from here we can just do our usual thing minus 3 on both sides cancel and then this is 6x equals 2 and then divide both sides by 6 cancel x equals 2 over 6 we get one third and congratulations this is our answer cool huh all right so that's what we have then let's see b we have another one, this time we have 32x is equal to 1 over 2. Still, the strategy is to write both sides as the same base first. Here we are looking at 32, which is the same as 2 to the 5th power as we discussed it over there already. So, let me put down 2 to the 5th power, then raise to the x power, and that's equal to Alright, we have 1 over 2, which is the same as saying 1 over 2 to the first power, right? Because I need to make sure this is a power of 2. So, I will write this as 2 raised to the negative 1 power, right, from here to here. Again, we have to have the base being equal to 2. When you have the fraction, the 2 on the bottom, bring that up, you have the negative power like this. Then, look at this, we have 2, and we multiply the powers again, 5 times x is just 5x, and then, actually, let me make this in red so you guys can see, the step that I'm doing right here is just 5 times x, which is, again, 5x, and that's equal to 2 to the negative 1. Well, again, the powers have to be the same, because the bases are the same already. Here, we have the 5x, that's equal to negative 1, We'll do our usual, usual business, divide the 5 from both sides. We get x being equal to negative 1 over 5. And then with that, we are done, just like that. Alright, now let's see what we have here. Next one, we have c, 49 to the 2x minus 1 power. This is equal to 1. Hmm, weird. It's okay. Let's see, again, same strategy, just pay attention to the base. Here we have 49, break it down. 7 times 7 is 49, perfect. So 49 is the same as 7 squared, and then we raise this to the 2x minus 1 power. Well, I'm using 7 here, but here we have 1. So what can we do? 7 to what power will give you 1? The, there's only one answer for that. It's not 1. The answer is 0. When you get 1, it's just that when you have 7 to the 0th power. Remember, the 0th power will give you 1, right? And then, right here, do the same thing. We are going to distribute the powers. So here, let me just write down 7. And again, we do 7 times 2x. I mean, we do 2 times 2x, which is 4x. And then 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. And this is 7 to the 0th power. Again, both sides have the same base, so the powers have to be the same. 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. And we can also just go ahead and do this. This bring the 
2 on both sides and then this is 4x equals 2 divide both sides by 4 we see the answer is actually x equals 2 over 4 which is 1 half like this all right I just realized there is another way that you could have done this well because the right hand side is equal to 1 so I'll just say oh you can also do this I will just keep it as 49 to the 2x minus 1 but because the right hand side is equal to 1 1 it's the same as 49 to the zeroth power a number as long as this number as long as the base is not zero then that to the zeroth power will give you one including 49 to the zeroth power will give you one and then again we see the bases are the same so we can just say this has to be the same as that continue 2x minus 1 is equal to zero bring the one to the other side so we see 2x is equal to one and lastly as usual divide the two on both sides so we get x equals one half much quicker actually well actually not that much quicker but quicker of course all right one more this one let's see what we have here d okay d let's say we have 27 to the 2x power and this right here is equal to um, 81 to the x minus 4 like this now we have 27 and 81 they are the bases we have to break them down so right here have a look here is 27 break it down 9 times 3 is 27 you can break down 9 in another word this is the same as 3 times 3 times 3 right because that would be 27 so 3 to the third power and then you raise this to the 2x power continue here we have 81 well 81 it's the same as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 because that's the same as 9 times 9 right which is just 3 to the fourth power so work that out you get 3 to the fourth power and then you write down x minus 4 for that from here again you you multiply the powers the base right here is 3 3 times 2x is 6x that's equal to 3 for the base multiply the 4 with this x which is 4x 4 times this is minus 16 bases are the same that means the powers have to be the same so we have the 6x equals 4x minus 16 just work that out minus 4x on both sides cancel these guys and then this is 2x equals negative 16 and then at the end we can just divide both sides by 2 and we are done finally x is equal to negative 8 6 negative 16 divided by 2 we get a negative 8 just like this right so we did it you did it i did it everybody did it. that's it yeah